All right, so we're here uh, with a motor mounting video. This is <clears throat> another video in a series on how to build your own FPV drone. Uh, this is going to be a quick one, just how to mount these motors. Uh, so I've got the Emax red bottoms here, and these are the RS1, they're the RS1306s, uh, 14, excuse me, 4,000 kilovolts. Uh, you can see here classic red bottoms, uh, but in a really, really small size, so I am really excited for these. They look fun. We're going to go ahead and just mount these babies um, right onto the motors, right onto the uh, arms. of. I have the owl here, and uh, when you line it up, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but when you line it up, uh, the holes on the bottom here do um, line up. You're going to want to use these four holes here. Um, those are going to be uh, the ones you mount with. Um, you're going to want to use the included mounting uh, hardware, and you've also got some nuts in there for your motors. So you can see these screws just fit um, in these holes very nicely. Uh, you don't need to jam it, you don't need to screw really hard to get them in there, uh, they just screw right in. So you're going to want to have the same feeling when you're screwing it through the carbon fiber. Uh, it might have a little bit of difficulty getting through the carbon fiber, uh, depending on your frame. Uh, you might have to screw it through just the fiber by itself carbon by itself, uh, which is probably what I'm going to have to do, and then uh, you're going to mount it on the motor. So uh, let me just screw this through and I'll get right back to you. Uh, so you can see I now have all the motors mounted. Um, I did have to spend some considerable time drilling out uh, the holes that these mounting screws go in uh, because they were a little bit smaller than they needed to be. Uh, that is common with some uh, cheaper frames as this one is. Um, the actual owl frame is much nicer than this one, uh, so check that out. This is not biased towards owl at all. Um, I'm sure they are very nice. Um, again, got these little mount motors mounted here, um, and then you're just going to solder these three wires um, to make the motor spin clockwise, which is the direction they will spin normally. Uh, you're going to solder all three of these um, and to switch them to counterclockwise, what you're going to do is switch the uh, two outside wires. I've heard you can switch any wire you want, but I would just switch the two outside. Uh, that makes most sense to me. And then you uh, can't. You're going counterclockwise then, and because of the uh, reverse direction of the voltage. So thank you for watching. This has been a quick little video on how to mount these motors. If you have any other questions on how to mount the motors, um, please leave your comments in the questions below. Um, and also, and I mentioned this in the rest of the video, but uh, you're going to want to make sure this is one, two, three, four, um, and this is clockwise, counter, clockwise, counterclockwise, uh, and that keeps it very balanced and level. And you're also one, two, three, four. You're going to want to match that up if you have a four and one ESC to one, two, three, four. If you just have one ESC per arm, you're going to just do the same thing, but you're going to mount the ESC right by the motor. All right, let's get on with the rest of the videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.